Hey there friends, Nibs again. <clears throat> Wanted to show you guys something pretty cool I figured out and uh, thought I would uh, share with the world. Um, one of the things that uh, people are trying to do all the time is, is bump up the power on these daisies. Um, <clears throat> I've got this uh, Daisy Model 102. It's a Daisy Heading Model 102. Um, and a lot of people like to put new springs and new bigger air tubes in there and that bumps up the power quite a bit on the bigger ones the longer barrels you can switch out to this is what they call a number 25 uh, shot tube and what it does is instead of having to shake it and grab wait for gravity to feed your BBs and it actually has a spring-loaded magazine here that holds 50 rounds <clears throat> and uh, this will actually the seal is a lot better, there's no seam on the barrel, and it will <clears throat> bump up your power by quite a bit. Uh, I've seen 30 to 40 feet per second at least in the ones that I've done them to. <clears throat> but these shorter ones, these I think there's a few other models too, but this is a 102, so it's a good example. It has a, uh, <clears throat> a much shorter barrel, so here's the length of the standard barrel. And then here's the length of the, <clears throat> they're more of a youth size. So, um, and what I thought would be interesting is, you know, if I wanted to make this one into what Shane Bruce over at Resto My Daisy calls a super thumper, or try to make it into a super thumper, I would put the, the bigger spring and the bigger air tube in there, but I wouldn't be able to do one of these. But I thought, well, geez, it looks like the end of that will come apart. So you take those two screws out and that end comes off. So with some careful measurements and then some careful cutting and machining, I was able to cut this number 25 shot tube down to a size that will fit in that number 102. So it's pretty cool does cut your <clears throat> round count down to about 27 or 28 I think I counted but it works for perfectly fine so normally you would screw this one in and, and where the hole is up in the barrel you'd put your BBs in and you could put hundreds of BBs in there and <clears throat> wait for gravity to do its thing but <clears throat> so with this one in there got to figure out something to do with this hole I guess I don't know but but uh, then you seems like it has pretty good thump to it so I uh, thought you guys would appreciate seeing this I want to make this real short and sweet but uh, I didn't uh, film actually doing the job but uh, anybody with a little bit of you know even tiny bit of machining work or machining skills could could do this pretty easily um i i cut a little bit over three inches i think if i did it again i'd go right at three inches so if you're going to try it um three inches i think would be the actual perfect amount um it, it's three and three and a sixteenth i think i took off and it's it is catching the threads, but uh, I would like to do a little bit more, but uh, it's just fine. So, but anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just ask down below and uh, we'll try to work those out for you. But I thought that would be a pretty cool thing to, for you guys to see and try out. So there you go. Uh, number 25 shot tube in a youth size 102 sized Daisy uh, air rifle. So anyway. Have a great day.